Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen Oddities or Karen's Oddities. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys my Christmas gifts that I got for my family and friends. Um, so let's just get into it. I have them next to me. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone has had a good Christmas so far and a good holiday season. Obviously, New Year's is upon us. Who knows what I'll be doing for New Year's, but I hope you guys have plans. And if you don't have plans um, that you're going to spend it surrounded by people that love you or surrounded by positive thoughts and positivity. All right, so this gift was for my brother. Uh, my brother's a sneakerhead, right? So he, if you're not familiar with the sneakerhead, sneakerheads are people that love sneakers and gym shoes, just shoes in general. Um, so he has this... Um, Kind of like this ritual of like getting us sneakers as a family and we'll get like matching pairs of sneakers and like sometimes we'll wear them out when we go out to dinner. Quick, um, quick story. I have never been a big fan of gym shoes. Um, I remember when I was younger, I think I turned, I don't know if it was when I turned four or five, one of those ages, right? One of my aunts like she was an aunt basically she purchased me some gym shoes and I remember I opened them there's a picture of me that I have opening these and the look on my face was like a look of like utter disappointment and almost disgust and I think I told her I don't like gym shoes I've hated gym shoes most of my life I wear them now because they're functional um obviously if I'm going to the gym or I'm doing a lot of walking it makes sense to wear gym shoes but I'm very much a girly girl Give me some heels, give me some flats, and give me some boots above all, and I am like the happiest camper ever. So, yes, I wear gym shoes now. I have accepted that my brother will continue giving us gym shoes, and I appreciate them because I wear them at the gym. I wear them when I travel, when I'm in the airport. Um, so they're definitely helpful and functional, but gym shoes are just not my go-to shoe. Okay, so these are Nike Air Max Scorpion FK. And my, don't mind you, I have a big ass foot, right? Uh, yes, I have a big ass foot. Hopefully they don't look that big near my big ass head. But these are the gym shoes. Um, they look pretty futuristic, honestly. I told my brother, I'm like, when I put these bitches on, like I'm literally gonna be, let's see, is a sole. Can I tell? I'm gonna be like two and a half inches taller, which I don't mind, because I'm currently 5'4", so I'm pretty excited about being taller. However, I think these shoes are cool. I think they're like futuristic looking. They are comfortable. However, dot com. What I don't like about this shoe is that it's bulky. And that's why I don't like gym shoes, right? They're bulky. Like the shoe is pretty heavy. It's bulky. Like look how much it's adding. It's almost like two and a half inches of height. But I'm going to wear them. I might wear them at the gym. I don't know if these are gym shoes for like gym training. Not that I do any heavy stuff at the gym anyway. But I will wear these shoes. I'll wear them when I travel. I do appreciate it. Thank you, big bro, for my Christmas gift. All right. Let's go to the next thing. And these are not in any particular order. My brother also got me. Wow, he left the price on it. <laughs> he got me this um, Nike fleece hoodie, which I do like because I love me a good hoodie. Well, it's not a hoodie, but a good sweater, right? I love me a good sweater, good top especially if I'm going to the gym, even if I'm not, like I work from home. So oftentimes I want to wear something comfortable, something functional. I want to wake up in the morning, get ready, throw on some yoga pants and a t-shirt and still be able to look profesh from the top up if I'm on a Teams call or a Zooms call. So I love clothing like this, throw it on the weekend. Honestly, I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow. I know tomorrow's not the weekend, but I'm actually off for the rest of the week and I don't go back to work until the 2nd of January. So I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow with some cute, um, leggings and I might even throw on my new gym shoes because I'm going to go get a pedicure and um do some thrift shopping with my mom next item is this blanket so I got this blanket I love me a good throw I can never have enough especially because sometimes I end up giving them to my dogs and they end up chewing holes through them so this one I'm going to try to preserve it because it's pretty soft and I like the colors of it um a throw blanket I don't know if I'm going to keep it upstairs or if I'm going to put it in my basement or if I'm going to use it on like my bed sometimes I like to make my bed and just throw a 
throw blanket, no pun intended, put it on the corner. I think sometimes it elevates like the, the look of the bed or the look of the bedroom. So I got this throw for my mom. This sounds funny. Um, this was from my lovely older brother. Okay. So let's just go gradually if I can do this. B is for beautiful. I is for imaginative. I can't read backwards. T is for thankful. C is for charming. And H is for headstrong. Okay, so this is for my older brother. So if you haven't made out what it spells out, it's B-I-T-C-H. This is a lovely t-shirt. I think that my family would agree. Um, sometimes I can be a B-I-T-C-H, but uh, I think this is a cute shirt. Will I wear this out? Probably not that much. Um, it's kind of like a gag gift, but I will wear it. Might wear it to the gym. Might wear it if I'm doing a quick run to pick up some food or going to the grocery store. Um, but yeah, I got this from my brother as well, my older brother. Next. So on my um, Christmas list, I had some really random things on here because I asked for random stuff. I ordered these um, silicone ice, ice makers, ice trays. So these are square ones. And there's like a plastic thing to pour in. So these are square ice cube trays. Why did I want these? Um, I thought they were cute, number one. When I have my friends over, if I'm making drinks, which I don't always make drinks because I'm not that good at um, mixology or making drinks or hosting. But if I do make drinks, it's nice to have different um, ice cube settings and different ice cube shapes. I have an ice cube maker, but I did want these. So my mom got me these. And I got these circular ones, which I think are super cool. These are usually used for um, whiskey drinks. Whiskey drinks are like a Manhattan, right? If you think of that type of drink, but these are pretty cool and I'm excited to use them. So for essentially for these, I guess you fill in the bottom and then you put this lid over it, right? Like you fit it in to each other. And then I guess you use this pour you put it in there and then you fill each individual um, tray section with water and then you freeze them. I purchased both of these. One, like I said, I like to host um, sometimes when I have my friends over, I like to have drinks available. I think it would be cool and fun to have different types of ice. I wish I had like a, a refrigerator that had the ice maker and the water and it could make like the crushed ice because that would be like total game changer. I love like crushed shaved ice, but that's not the case. I don't have one of those, okay? But for this one as well, I was also thinking about my boyfriend. I had him in mind when I got this one because he likes to drink um, a Manhattan. He likes drinking like whiskey on the rocks. So I'm like, what I'm going to do for him is I'm going to make some of these, right? Like I'm going to make a couple of sets. Maybe I'll like make like three sets, which is six times three is 18. And um, I'm going to put them in a Tupperware and I'm going to gift them to him, right? So it's like he can have these ready in his fridge when he makes himself a drink and in the evening, he can just take one of these balls and like drop it into his drink. You know, not just thinking about myself, thinking about others as well. So I got that for my mom. I'll leave that here. Um, I love perfume. When I say I love perfume, I love perfume. I think it's one of my favorite things, honestly. And um, I love all types of perfumes, right? I don't need the most expensive perfumes. Do I like some expensive perfumes? Absolutely. Do I like cheap perfumes? Yes, if it smells good. I like whatever smells good. Don't care who makes it, don't care what brand, don't care how much it costs. I don't care if it's for sale at the dollar store. If I like what it smells like, I'm going to get it, right? Obviously, when you talk about perfumes and things like that, you're getting better value. Usually when you're spending more, the ingredients and quality is better. The scent is going to last longer. Um, it's going to smell more sophisticated. The chemistry of it being made and like the chemical reactions of it, obviously, there's just going to be an elevation from anything cheap that you purchase, right? But um. I do like, I started buying, sometimes I buy perfumes at Five and Below. If you didn't know this, I've been putting everyone on. Five and Below has a lot of perfumes, you guys. Of course, they're not high-end perfumes because they're sold at Five and Below, which means they're $5 or less usually, although their prices have increased. But they have some pretty good smelling perfumes. And it's like, I will buy them because I like wearing perfume so much and so often that like when I put it on, 
I'm covered in perfume, okay? After I shower and get ready, put on my lotion, whatever, I'm going on a date, whatever. I'm covering myself in perfume because I love smelling good. So I got them because I'm like, one, this smells good. And two, I run through these bitches quick. So I'm not going to freaking waste a bunch of perfume that cost me like 100 and something dollars and up. I'm not going to go crazy with that for every occasion. So it's like on my day to day, I'm using my five and belows, right? When I'm going on a date or if I have like um, a special event or I'm going to some type of party, ceremony or event, obviously I'm using my higher perfumes. Not saying that I don't use higher perfumes during the week, but it gives me more flexibility to have your more expensive perfumes last you longer. I'm just saying, I know some people are like, absolutely not. I refuse to wear non-name brand perfumes. That's fine, baby girl or baby boy. Totally up to you. But I'm telling you now, five and below perfumes are where it's at. Especially if you want to be on a budget and you still want to smell good or you just want to save some money and not use up your really expensive perfumes, five and below is the way to go. This is not from five and below. I did not get any perfumes from five and below. I buy those myself. My mom doesn't buy me those because my mom is one of those people where she's like, I'm not spending money on like trash or like cheap stuff, right? Um, to each their own. I'll get my five and below perfume. She can buy me non five and below and we're both happy. So this is... Um, Tommy Bahama and it's not going to show because I have a very bright light on this is Tommy Bahama women this is a 3.4 ounces I saw it was on sale recently at um TJ Maxx TJ Maxx and Marshalls have pretty good perfumes they'll have like good brand perfumes um and if there are ones that you like you can always check there to see if they have them on sale this one I'm trying to think was it $24 or like $16 but I'm like I love this perfume and you know what's funny is my mom gave me this perfume um like she had one of hers and she gave it to me because she didn't want it anymore right so it's like I started using it I put on this perfume a few weeks ago and my boyfriend is like you smell so good so I'm like he likes it I like it we both like it so I told my mom I'm like I want this perfume so she bought it for me oh My little brother, I'm not going to show you guys my size, even though you can just imagine what I look like, right? But my little brother bought me tights. I thought it was five pairs, but I guess it's four because I wore one of these pairs today. So these are tights. Um, there are two pairs in here. So I got eight pairs of tights. I work in um, office setting. We'll keep it at that. I work in an office setting. So I love putting on a good tight whether it's with a skirt, with a dress, throwing on some boots. I love me a good, solid pair of tights. They really dress up your look. If you want to elevate your look, throw on a pair of tights, etc. So I also have long nails, right? So sometimes when I put on the tights, like I am ripping my nails, especially these are more rounded off. So that doesn't happen. But when I have like square nails and they're super sharp and new, I'm popping holes. Like I'm putting on the tights. I'm pulling them up. I'm in a rush. I'm breaking holes in them right so it's like I can go through a pair of tights like pretty quickly um so I always ask for tights I love tights so I got me air eight pairs of tights um I did wear the first pair today these are oh these were from TJ Maxx as well these are curvy comfort for all your curves Nimoy control top opaque tights one complaint I will say that I have about these tights I would show you guys what I'm wearing, but I can't get up right now. It's just not appropriate. So um, I put on these tights today, right? I'm wearing this turtleneck. It's fitted. And I'm wearing a Levi's jean shirt, jean skirt. So I put on the black tights and I threw on some boots. I did work from the office today. And what I found about these tights is, you know, when I pull on my tights, I'm pulling them all the way up, all the way up to the crotch. And I'm pulling them, these bitches all the way up. So if these bitches go right here underneath my boobs I'm pulling them all the way up because why am I going to leave them in the middle so they can create like a muffin top I'm pulling them up as high as they go because that's what I do I notice with these tights you know with tights sometimes they're going to have like a line where it creates like okay if this is a leg this is a better way if this is a leg they may have like a line like about here that kind of is like a short it looks like shorts but it's because the fabric there is different um because it offers tighter control right it's going to be less stretchy than the leg well news flash i have fat ass legs so i put on these freaking tights i pull them all the way up the part that's like a short is like right under my butt cheek and when i kid you not 
I turn to the side and I look in the mirror. It makes it look like I'm wearing fucking butt pads, right? Because everything up until this point is like looser. And then right here gets tight as fuck because my thighs are so fat. So what I didn't like is it makes it look like I'm wearing butt, like butt pads. You know, they sell butt pads if you're not familiar. And I'm like, this is fucking embarrassing. I don't need anyone thinking I'm coming into the office wearing butt pads. I don't need anyone thinking I got some type of procedure done to my ass. So I had to like pull the tights down to where it didn't like tighten them so much under my butt because it made me look weird and deformed. So maybe it's not a diss on the tights. Maybe it's just my fucking body, right? Maybe I need to lose weight around my, well, I need to lose weight all over, right? But maybe I just need to lose weight around my thighs. So I got these tights. These are for my little brother. Um, this was one of my really, uh, one of the gifts I was really looking forward to. My mom got me, because I got her one um, for, no, I think it was for her birthday. Um, I did get the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, I probably said that totally wrong. Madam, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, perfume, which I'm really excited for because it smells so good. It's the big bottle and I'm going to cherish it and not go crazy with it and waste it up. But um, I was really, really grateful for that gift from my mom. So I got that one and I'm excited to wear. I want to see, like, I've been trying to test out, like, I will wear, I do this with my mom too, right? Like, I'll put on five and below perfume one day. I won't tell her what I'm wearing and I'll, I'll just go over to my parents' house and then I'll tell her, like, do you think this is a cheap perfume or an expensive perfume? Then she tries to, like, guess whether or not it's a cheap perfume or an expensive perfume. Um, but with my boyfriend, I noticed, like, like I said at the beginning of this, right? I love me some perfume. So with him, I noticed like there are perfumes that I wear that I love the scent to that other people may compliment me on, but he won't say absolutely anything. So maybe for him, either he doesn't like the scent or it's too overpowering. But with him, I noticed like some of my cheaper perfumes, like the five and below stuff or not five and below, but just cheaper, he thinks those smell so good. And I'm just like, um... All these other perfumes I've wore, you've never said that smells good. But let me put on a five and below perfume and you think that smells good. So I'm curious when I put on the Chanel one, if he'll say anything about it, right? If he'll say like, oh, you smell so good or if he won't say anything. So stay tuned on what feedback I get. I got these socks. I will never turn down a good sock, these candy cane socks. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I love um, Pacha soap. I'm not gonna open this, but this is the Pacha uh, Coconut Lemon Bar. Ooh, it's not gonna do it because of the glare. But um, here's that soap. There we go. I love their soap. So this is, I use it as a body soap. I mean, it's a body soap. You can use it as a hand soap as well. So I got one of those. I also got, um, what's his name? Uh, Flower Bomb Perfume. This lighting is like terrible. By Victor Rolf. Um, I've heard of this perfume before. I know a lot of people like the scent. I don't think I'd ever smelled it until I got it for Christmas and I smelled it the other day and it smells really good. So I'm really grateful for this perfume as well. Now I have even more variety to add to my like rotation. And this one is from my boyfriend, which I was very surprised by. Because I was not expecting it. Not that I don't think that he can afford to get me something of this magnitude. I just, I was not expecting like such a pricey gift. Um, but he was so sweet. And um, he went out of his way to get me. Oh, the bag. This Gucci Padlock Mini. It's 
beige and then it has like a longer strap as well so i'm really excited to use this one um we're gonna be going to like this place at the end of this week so i'm really excited to like switch my stuff over and use that purse um you know everyone has their like i guess i'll call it a vice or it's like everyone has like their thing that they like spending money on right like my mom she's always loved purses um and not like there's there's levels to it right you know if you know about purses you know there's levels to this stuff right there's like the kind of um pricey ones there's like the not so pricey ones but my mom's always loved purses my brothers always love shoes me I love I love me some shoes. I love me some shoes, but I, I don't need expensive shoes. I just need shoes that I really like the design or shoes that are quirky or strange or weird, things that you can't get anywhere. That's what I like, right? I like looks that are unique. Um, so in terms of like purses, like I've never been like, oh my God, I need this purse. Like I need this very expensive purse. When I turned 21, I did buy myself a Louis Vuitton purse. It was like one of my biggest purchases. And it's like, I work hard. I deserve this. I got my purse. I still have it. Like it's shit I was 21 what almost 10 years ago so it's a 10 year old purse I still have it it's still doing its thing do I use it no I don't I've since gotten another Louis Vuitton purse and now I have this Gucci purse but it's like I'm not a big like oh my god I need this like thousand dollar purse or this four thousand dollar purse I don't need that stuff are they beautiful absolutely but in my opinion it's just not worth the money it's not worth the money like if I can do xyz with that money i rather do xyz obviously i'm not cashing in the, the purse that my boyfriend got me for anything else but um it's just not worth it for me right like i did get my mom a louis vuitton purse and a wallet for i think i don't know if it was christmas or her birthday like two years ago or something um and i think it was good for her because so she can have one of her own right but um i just i don't think it's worth it right i know the quality sometimes is there i know recently um What's that brand? Chloe. There was a uh, Chloe purse that I saw when I was in Japan. It was white. And I'm like, geez, this purse is beautiful. And I could just tell by looking at it, like the quality of the leather, I think it was like calf skin, was so soft, so beautiful. Like I really wanted that purse, right? So I almost considered biting the bullet and like getting it. I think it was like, I don't know if it was like 3000 It was a lot of money, right? Like I was really considering. But the reality is, I have other priorities right now, right? Like I just got this house. It's been a year in this house. I'm getting a new car because my lease is going to be up. Like I have bigger fish to fry than having a fucking soft ass leather purse, right? I will appreciate it from afar. When I focus on the things that I need to get done in my household, sure, if there's money left over to play with, we'll get that $3,000, $4,000 purse. But until then, like it's nice, but I don't need it. But if that's your thing, you know, that's your thing. We all have our things. And I think we should all be able to um, treat ourselves, especially when we work hard. As long as your bills are paid, as long as you don't owe anybody any motherfucking money, as long as you're not behind on your bills, your credit is good. You have to treat yourself. What the fuck do we work for? Right. We work our asses off. Well, most of us do. Right. We work our asses off. We freaking barely get time off from work. We put in that overtime. You're trying to get raises. You're trying to show like your work ethic and try to like establish a good name for yourself. If you're self-employed, you're working even fucking harder. You have to treat yourself. You have to treat yourself. Life is too short to not treat yourself, right? Um, but in that as well, it is important also to give, right? Obviously, Christmas is not just about receiving. Right now, I'm sharing the things that I received. Did I give this year? Yes, I gave to my family. I gave to my boyfriend. I donated. My brother adopted a family. I contributed to that family, to a couple of members of the family. Like, within reason, there has to be just a balance and really just a give and take. Um, because I think that it's important to always keep things balanced, especially when it comes to, like, monetary and like luxury and actually tangible things because that's what really helps you remain humble and it helps you expressing gratitude essentially helps you continue to receive right if you're not grateful oh my god that's scary if you're not humble um it could just not be good and i think i need to address this fire this is the second fire that i've had on you guys and um yeah, I think I need to address the fire. I'm getting scared. 
Uh, what's the last thing? I'll just show you guys this last thing really quick. But I need to go dress the fire before I burn my house down. My mom got me these boots. Um, they're nine west. I have a big ass foot, but I'm really excited about these boots. They're leather. And I need to go address this fire to make sure to burn my house down. Wish me luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment your thoughts. Let me know if you got a video on it for Christmas. Let me know um, how your Christmas was. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.